You're making the child responsible for the parent's actions. And these folks who are getting maybe $185 a month, I think the average um, in November last year, according to uh, the Commission on Children and Youth, was $166. I mean, let's be honest. This, this amount, folks, this is for people who are trying to figure out how to eat. They're trying to figure out how to pay bills or just get by. I mean, I think most of us in this room probably would have a hard time understanding many of the challenges that these families face. And I understand that we all want to fight abuse in the system and fraud in the system. We want to end poverty. We want to end the circle of the cycle of poverty. Very laudable goals. Goals that should stay at the forefront of every piece of legislation we bring here. But when you look at the current law, which I think the sponsor mentioned and some others mentioned, there are already requirements in the law. And so if you still have children failing or not advancing with those requirements, I, what is it that tells us that this gets the job done? What is it that tells us that another withholding would actually do the, do the trick? There's, there's no testimony to that effect. There's nothing in this bill that says that. So if you're still talking about the current law not working, and then the only result, or the, the only thing you have left to do is to say, make the child responsible for the parent's actions. That is, that is, that is just simply not, it's not good policy. It's not good policy. It's not right. Um, it's not something we should do. These goals are laudable. Um, but Mr. Speaker, when you're talking about this type of money to help people pay for these types of needs and to put it squarely on the shoulders of their child, uh, that's a burden you just shouldn't place on any child. And that's not where we should be.